Hi and welcome back to Mountain Aromatics. Today is aldehyde C18, which is coconut. I call it coconut C18. That's what I do when I write it in my formulations. That's actually what I write because I know what I mean. C18 is an, an aldehyde. So I'm going to put a drop or two or three on the test strip and so I'm gonna um I got kind of a formula for for you at the end of this so watch the whole thing here we go so this is a clear liquid it is a watery consistency it is definitely a waxy coconut, if that makes sense. A lot of the aldehydes are a little waxy. This is no different. This, however, I like this aldehyde. Why? Because I can stick my nose straight in it. Where in the other ones, you have to dilute down. It's super strong. And it has a, um, a real <laughs> aldehydic smell to it. This doesn't. This smells more like a coconut, um, not like the tanning lotion. So it's not quite that strong. It's not quite like that. More waxy, a little buttery soft. I'm not saying it smells like butter. I'm saying it's buttery soft. It does give me a tropical feeling, tropical vibe. There's a tropical vibe to it, which I really like a lot. And the thing about this is that's cool is that it's going to give, again, that projection, that, that lift and expansion of the rest of your formula. That's what the aldehydes do. This is no different. This is 309 hours on the test strip. That's a really long time, and that's awesome for an aroma like coconut. This is not like a pure pure coconut I want to be careful when I say that because I mean there's just a waxiness to it a um, oiliness to it um, so I guess that's all I have to say about that I think yeah it is a middle note so it could be the heart of your fragrance now so I'm gonna go to this incredibly similar. This is one, it is the same. You get that waxy coconut aroma to it. I really like it. So how do you use it? You say, well, I can help you out with that. So this is what I would do. This is made up. I'm, I just right before this, I'm like, what would I make? So I'm not going to give you how many drops I would use, but I'm going to tell you what I would use it with. Although it's amazing with florals, but I didn't go the floral direction. But you absolutely can go the floral direction with this. It's not going to smell like coconut and flowers. It just, I don't know, it won't quite do that. It'll be a hint of coconut in the background with it, which to me will smell beautiful. I digress. Back to my other one. So Tropical Wood Accord would be absolutely beautiful with this. Hello, it's tropical. Um, fresh Accord to give it a little bit more lift and freshness. Here we're going to, we're about to go to the ocean here. Um, Affirmate. I don't know if it's Affirmate or Affirmate. Um, I guess it's Affirmate. This is to me that um, oceanic salt thick salt water, concentrated salt water, I would add that to it. This one I have yet to figure out how to pronounce. It's the bicyclononolactone. Bicyclononolactone. Actually, I think I said that correctly. It is 400 hours as well. Um, xenolide, I would add xenolide to it as well. Watermelon ketone and do fruit see how i went in the tropical direction that is what i would add to it and you can make any of those the heart of your fragrance and some of those more of a top note or last 
not as long or whatever, put less of, more of, all that kind of stuff. So I hope this was helpful. I think of all the aldehydes, this one is my personal favorite. My personal favorite. I love it. And I think, again, the reason I like it the most is because of the aldehydes is because it doesn't smell like that aldehydic, which has its place, obviously, Chanel number no. 5. But this just will give that lift and projection with a totally different aroma and smell. So I appreciate you joining me. And uh-oh, before I forget, it's actually not a uh-oh, it's a oh wow, that's awesome. I wanted to tell you, I'm going to go on a totally different note now. So I'll just put that aside. So what started all of this for me was a, um, a body wash, actually, that had tuberose. It's called Midnight Tuberose um, by, oh, now I'm, you got me on the spot. And I'll think about it at the end, the end. But anyway, smell that tuberose. And I'm like, wow, this is awesome. What is tuberose? So I started doing a Google search and learning more and learning more. And that's what got me started with all this kind of stuff. Well, long story short, I got tuberose bulbs. They kind of look like um, tubers. They're between a tuber and a bulb. They're really kind of different. They're between a tuber and a bulb. But anyway, I got some from Hawaii, planted them a long time ago, and they finally, yesterday, the first one bloomed, so I took a photo. So here you go, here is my photo. Now, of course, it's not all the way bloomed out, and once more start blooming out, and I get a full um, flower that's all the way bloomed, you can see that they're double bloom, double blossoms. Um, and I will take more photos. But this is my first photo that I took, and I just wanted to share it with you because for me it is incredibly meaningful because it was the start for me diving into fragrances like this. So just wanted to share that with you. And um, if you like this video, please subscribe. And if you, well, listen to me, <laughs> subscribe. And if you like the video, click like. How's that? Here we go. I am more than sure I'm going to show you more photos. In fact, um, I enjoy photography. So in the future, I kind of want to stick a photo or two in some of my videos for you to see because um, I really enjoy it. And it really has connected me to fragrances. So I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. I hope you have a beautiful day.